Hello, this is Rahul from Learning Simplified. From this video onwards, we will learn about machine instructions. A machine instruction is nothing but a sequence of zeros and ones, which, which informs the processor on what task it has to perform. Let us say we have a sequence of numbers 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Then processor decodes this sequence of binary bits into some form of instruction instruction it performs a task if we have another sequence one zero one 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 zero one this is another instruction which the processor understands so what the instruction must contain generally in general we give a command to the processor to perform some operation such as addition subtraction and logical operations so this sequence of bits must contain an operation code okay an operation code which is nothing but this operation code tells the processor what operation it, it is such as arithmetic operations transfer data transfer operations and all now what what is uh, missing in this Suppose if I say add or subtract or multiply, what do you do? You look at me with a weird face. And if I say, suppose I say add 2 and 3. Now you perform the addition of these numbers. So the computer also requires source operand reference. Which is nothing but the reference to the operands such as for 2 and 3 where can the processor find these operands to perform this operation all right so this is this must be a part of a machine instruction and what else do we need uh, in a machine instruction after performing the operation the operands the, or the result must be stored in some memory location or some register so we need to specify the result result operand reference as well and in addition to this we need to have a next next instruction reference instruction reference so what are the four main components of a machine instructions are the operation code which tells the processor what task it has to perform such as addition, subtraction, etc. And it has to include the operand references. These references can be registers within the processor or memory that is outside the processor or the it can take the input directly from IO or the real world and the result must be same one of these where the result of the operation must be stored while coming to this next instruction reference after performing one operation or one instruction by a processor then it must go to the next instruction so it must know the uh, address or some kind of information to go to the next instruction generally we don't integrate this within our instruction machine instruction because this is found in a special special register special register called program counter okay program counters has the value of next instruction to be fetched and executed so we don't bother about this for now in the coming videos we will learn more deeply about what are the types of operation codes that we have types of operations that a processor can perform and the operands where from how can we address the operands if they are in registers or if they are in memory 
what are the various techniques to address the operands in an efficient way and the storage of the result as well in the future tutorials. In general, for a human mind, this, this machine instruction in terms of zeros and ones is quite obscure to understand. So we use something called as mnemonics. M N E M O N I C a mnemonic. A mnemonic means that which aids human brain or human memory. Human memory means uh, the sequence of zeros and ones is hard to remember by a human being. Suppose we have add or mul. Add is used uh, as an operation code for addition or a mnemonic for addition and mul is used for multiplication and a, b, c. These are the operands and d, e, F. These are the operands for this operation. These mnemonics are just to aid the human memory, but the processor doesn't understand what is add or mul. So it checks up the it checks the lookup table, something known as lookup table, which ha which stores all the values, all the mnemonic values: add, mul, subtract, divide etc. All the instructions that a processor has in the lookup table, what the processor does is or what the assembler does is, it scans from left to right. Once it encounters this add operation, this is known as a keyword, it checks in the lookup table for the operation code. Suppose the code for add in our uh, architecture is 0, 0, 0 then this add is replaced by this binary number. Multiply, suppose this is 0, 0, 001, this is 0, 010, 0, this is 0, 011. 1, 1. So the corresponding mnemonic code is replaced by the binary code in, a, in translation process. And the next thing I want to tell you is, suppose we have uh, this instruction, what, is, what are the source operands and what are the destination operands? Uh, let's say these two are source operands and this is a destination operand. We can represent in it in register transfer notation as uh, B plus C is stored in, in location A, which means uh, the value at location B is added to value at location C and stored in, uh, in, stored in location A. And for this, D E times F, which means value at location E is multiplied by value at location F and stored at value, stored at location D. This is a very high level representation, but this is not possible in a computer. Adding a value at location B to location C is not possible because all the arithmetic operations must be performed within the processor. So the values first have to be fetched into the processor, then the, uh, perform the required task, then store the result in the memory location such as uh, add R0, R1, R2. This means we have fetched uh, the operands at these locations into R1, B is fetched into R1 and C is fetched into R2 and we perform this task and store this in R1 and the comment for this is R0, we put the value of R1 and R2 in R0 and this R0 must be stored. So we use the mnemonic to store into the memory as store a R0 which means the value in R0 register is stored at memory location A. We will look at more in more detail about all these in the coming 
videos and that's all for this video i hope you have enjoyed this video see you next time until then happy learning